All right, what's going on, guys? Your boy Turbine Reacts here, and we are back with another episode, final episode of Rome season two, episode ten is here. Gonna wrap this up, and then I'm gonna be doing a complete series review after this. Not directly after, but as um, soon enough, you guys will get my complete understanding of it. Hopefully, I can use a couple of clips. I probably won't risk it to put clips in my review, but I will be doing a complete um, breakdown of what I think of the series and, and how they did um, from a technical standpoint. So I will be doing that and take this from someone who has watched film, has done film, maybe not on the Hollywood level, but I have produced some some short films back in the day um and also i've done plays i've done um something close to you know drama theater something like that so i have a little bit of experience on what to expect when it comes on to writing a screenplay and stuff like that i have experience in that it's not an extensive experience but i do know a lot about about what it takes to create these things okay okay so last episode um basically atia went back home and told her son octavian to take out mark anthony because and then they got the will so that confirms that there's going to be a war how is this going to happen? Are we going to get a final battle in, in, in this episode? I don't know as of yet. But Pulo has left to, to go fight with um, Octavian. So um, I'm pretty sure he's, he's probably going to get a chance to talk to Varinus. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know how this whole thing is going to go down because now it seems like you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be Egypt versus <laughs> Rome um, um, for complete demolishing of... Egypt don't have the manpower. Like, let's just say that. I don't see them... They're not on the Rome's level when it comes on to soldiers. So, the the the, the Rome soldiers that are done is like, okay, is Octavian going to get in the battle this time around because he was called out by mark anthony man he was called out is he gonna man up and get off the horse and go get into the midst of the battle is he too pretty you know what i'm saying so we're gonna see what happened man let's jump into the episode and see what happened i'm excited to watch the finale of rome season 8 episode 10 here we go make sure you know what's been going on um before we we take the break please guys i know there are people going to be asking where are the rest of the episode why is it only two on the channel <laughs> why is it that there's only two reactions on the channel of the two last episodes of rome okay so i'm going to explain it again just in case you end up watching this video okay the videos got copy copyright strike i had to take them down now, the reason why I did not download them was because in the space of 24 hours, I got two copyright strikes. It was faster to delete the videos than to actually spend time downloading those videos. Okay, so it would have taken me longer. Who knows me taking another six hours to get those things down? It would I would have lost my channel. So I didn't take the risk. I just took like 15 minutes. It didn't take me long to delete the videos. It was hundreds of videos, but it didn't take long. It took me like a half an hour to delete the entire library of both Game of Thrones and Rome because it looks like HBO was looking at my channel. Okay, so I'm just letting you guys know that that's the reason why. Like, this is a different format. This way, there's none of the... the um. The actual footage is on YouTube. Um, so at the very least, the least they can do is block the video um, from the link. 
and all I have to do is just re-upload it. So if you guys are having trouble viewing the videos, just let me know. I'm so sorry. I apologize. At least I shouldn't be apologizing because it's not really my fault why I had to delete the videos, right? So I'm doing this really for the people who has been on this journey with me with Rome. I'm really doing this for them because going forward, I'm not putting any footage on YouTube unless I know for a certain fact, okay, that I have permission to get to, to put it up, okay? So, um, there are other videos that's going to stay there. Um, hopefully, um, those two copyright strikes, they go away in October. So, we'll see what happens after that, see how we're going to move forward. There's things that I'm working on to avoid this whole thing where we all can just go enjoy. So this is for the people who has taken a journey with me. Thank you guys so much um, for taking this journey with me and to complete the series. Go ahead. Um, there's going to be two links there, one for Google Drive, one for BitChute. So go ahead and check the reaction out. And then we'll come back right here for my pre-review to my complete series review, okay? So I'll tell you what I think of how they wrapped up the series. And then I'm going to do a separate video just breaking down from season one to season two. And, you know, give my perspective on why I think they should have continued the series. Um, and see how they wrapped it up. See if they rushed the end or anything like that. So let's go watch this episode, man. Episode 10. Let's get it. All right, so let's talk about this episode 10, man. It was really good. I liked it a lot. Um, and as I was saying there before I cut myself off, um, you know, they, d and &D, they could have learned a lot from how to pace a show when you don't have a lot to work with. At the end of Game of Thrones, they could have done, they wrapped up all the storylines in a, without betraying any of the characters. You get what I'm saying? Like, none of the characters were doing anything at the end where you were saying, oh, that's not like them. That's not something that that character would do. The, it made sense. Everything that happened in the episode made sense. You get what I'm saying? Um, it made sense. That's all I can say. It made sense. The pacing was good for the final episode. Even, even though they were trying to wrap up all the storylines, they did a really good job, okay? Um, we got a fight scene, so we can't argue about that. Um, of course, Pullo is still alive. The luckiest man to ever walk planet Earth is Tidal's Pullo, okay? It must be. <laughs> I mean, I don't think... I think if that guy living today, he could go to Vegas and make a fortune... Easily luckiest guy to ever walk planet Earth. I it, it, it he has to be, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so this episode, man, they 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 did a really good job of wrapping up the storylines. Verena's um dying, of course. I'm glad, I'm so happy, almost teared up at that scene there with him and his daughter. Um, I had to really hold back my tears, my tears, okay. That was a beautiful scene. I'm glad that she, in some way, forgave him. You know what I'm saying? Um, as I said, man, there's a lot of times when kids act up because they don't, you, you know what I'm saying? But when they know that your their parent is acting how many times have, have your kids said to you, I wish you were dead? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just when the actual moment come, it's not really, it's just an in-the-moment reaction most time for kids. And I get why why she was so upset, or all of them, rather, was so upset with him. But I'm glad that they, you know, get some sort of reconciliation before um, he passed. So, Octavian is still Octavian. He's still my dude. You know what I'm saying? Like... The reason why, I, I know you guys probably, you guys know that from the beginning of the series, I loved Octavian's character. Because he reminds me a lot of myself. There's a lot of things that he did that I wouldn't do. 
you get what I'm saying? Like, I think he could have went about in a better way, but that, um, power, um, a lot of people say power corrupts, right? Is it power corrupt? But really what power does is brings out your true self. It doesn't really corrupt because power can be used in a very positive way. Power just reveal your true self. Okay. So when he got the power, that's when you kind of saw who Octavian really was. You get what I'm saying? He really did not go the political route to get most of what he wanted done. He basically just struck the fear of God in everybody <laughs> and be like, yo, yo, this is what I want done. Okay. Who want, who, who want this work? You don't want to do what I want. Who want this work? When he brought those soldiers into the Senate room, I was like, yo, this dude is on another level right now. You know what I'm saying? But um, so there's certain things that he did after that. I didn't like the fact that the way how he was treating his mom and his sister, I didn't like it. Um, you know, the whole separation thing. Uh, but it's also he was acting on an impulse of of protection and at the same time a little bit petty. You know what I'm saying? Because he had this grudge against Anthony because of the one little incident that happened between them where Anthony basically whooped his ass. So, you know, I do understand where he's coming from. But at the same time, I really wish there's certain things that he did that I really wish he hadn't have done. I'm glad that him and Pulo are still friends. I think that's the only pure friendship that he actually has at the you know, at that moment, you know, at any moment, that was the, the the purest friendship he has. I think the other dudes, I think him and Agrippa, but still, uh, you know what I'm saying? I think him and Agrippa are close, but I don't think on the, the, the relationship between him and Pulo is, it goes so much deeper than what he has with Agrippa because him and Agrippa's friendship, we didn't get to see that develop. And that's why I feel like he has a better relationship with Pulo than he has him and it's not even the same because really and truly um Verenus and and Mark Anthony wasn't really they weren't really friends they were just like you know what I'm saying like Verenus is just a loyal dude he's just a loyal dude if he decides that he's gonna fight for you he's gonna fight for you you know what I'm saying so he's not gonna betray you and go do something else unless it's family that's the one thing that nigga will leave your ass in the dirt <laughs> if he knows his family is in trouble. As we see from, I think it was season one when they killed, when they killed um, Caesar, when they killed Caesar, he was supposed to be with Caesar. And because they told him about what, you know, tricked him into going home, hearing the news and stuff like that, like shit goes down with his family. He's, he's out of there. You know what I'm saying? So. But also, man, there's a lot about it. You know, I was talking about a lot about um, Egyptian stuff, like like what I know and what I what I don't know, like geographical stuff. I don't really know about Egyptians, but there's a lot of um, the the um, the famous mummies that they found over the years. Like I can't remember their names right now, but I do. I know of them. You know what I'm saying? Like if if I should have a discussion with somebody, I can go and talk about that stuff. Like I know a lot about their traditions, their, you know, their religion and, and stuff like that, you know, just from over the year, just picking up a few pieces here and there. I've never studied it or anything like that. But when it comes on to, if you're going to talk about biblical Egypt, I got you, you know what I'm saying? But, um, like the later years after the pharaohs and, 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 and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff that happened after that. Um, I don't really know much about it, but I know some of it. Okay. And I know somebody's going to go in the comment section and educate me thoroughly. And I welcome it. You guys already know. I want to know about this stuff. Give me all the deets on Egypt. I welcome it. I love to hear about that stuff because it gives me more things to talk about when it comes down to, I, I want to know this stuff because I've met people before people is coming, you know what I'm saying? And we just happen to start talking about this stuff. So the more I know is the better I can contribute 
to these conversations, man. And I'm happy for it. I'm happy that I'm watching shows. I'm happy that I have, you know what I'm saying, subscribers who are really deep into these kind of history and stuff like that. I hope you guys are not Googling stuff and sending it to me. I hope this is something that you actually studied. You're actually like historians, historians, or you learned this stuff in school or something like that. Um, also, I hope you're not just Googling stuff and pasting it in the comment section. That's not cool. <laughs> okay. But anyways, um, but anyways, man, I'm so happy that you guys have tuned in. Thank you guys for taking this journey with me, man. Great, um, great show. I can't, I can't say enough about the, the, the technical aspects that I'm going to be talking about in a different video. I'm going to be talking about that. Um, talking about the relationships that happen in the series, what I love, what I didn't like and stuff like that in, in the series breakdown. Okay. So thank you guys so much, so much for taking this journey with me. I'm sorry again. I apologize guys for all those people who came to watch your own reactions and you're like, why is there only two episodes, bro? Why are you only reacted to the end of the series? No, that wasn't the case. We got copyright strikes and I had to delete all of those videos. We're so close to the end to, you know what I'm saying? So this is, I'm really just finishing up the series for the people who has stayed loyal and kept watching it every time I upload. So they're really the ones that have taken a journey with me. Nobody, nobody knew will be able to take the journey with me, which is sad because it was one of the shows on the channel that was doing really good, averaging around 300 views per upload. Um, so I was doing pretty good. It was like a third of my subscribers was watching it. Um, you know, and I also had to delete game of Thrones, which was, which was my highest view count on the channel. It was doing the best numbers on the channel. Um, right. A little bit ahead of, um, Ippo. So it was doing great numbers. It, um, um, episode one, season one, episode one, part two was up to like 40,000 views and I had to delete that video. So, and it was my most viewed videos on the channel. So it hurt to delete them, but I had to, if I wanted to continue using YouTube is possibility of losing my channel. So I couldn't take that risk. So I apologize once again, if you're tuning in now, wondering, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to do this series of you and you can comment under the review. And you know what I'm saying? It would have been, I know it would have been nice to see my reactions because there are some classic um, reactions that I, that I did in the Rome series that I'll never be able to watch them ever again and see, and nobody will be able to see my reaction to those classic scenes like, um, like the death of Brutus and, you know, me calling Brutus a bitch and, 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 you know, the death of Caesar, how it hit me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Me comparing myself to, to Octavian and, and little, little stuff like that. So, so sorry guys, but it is what it is. Here we are. And that's just how it's going to be. So thank you guys for tuning in. Maybe later on, who knows? Maybe a year or two, maybe a year or two, I might decide to just go over the series again and just to refresh my memory and just do maybe upload some clips or something like that. Because that's one of the things that we can do later on, like when the channel gets older, maybe five years or so. I may revisit some stuff, may revisit Game of Thrones. You never know. I might do that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Might, might watch over the series again. Maybe I forget some details because I'm planning to do the read through for Game through for, for for Game of Thrones too. So there's things that's planned for the channel. Okay. So thank you guys so much for taking this journey with me. All you guys that stayed loyal and watched and commented and liked, man, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys once again. Just remember to hit that like button on this video. Look out for the next one because it's coming. Okay, just remember, guys, leave a comment in the comment section. Also, if, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing new series on the channel. Okay, Rome is done. It's time for something new. I haven't decided what I'm going to go on to do next. Just remember, you are Terra Squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys for the next series. Peace.